Hello. Welcome back to Ongoing World Affairs. Details have emerged of the ISIS-K attack, that killed 13 US troops, and scores of Afghan civilians, after a suicide bomber slipped, past a Taliban checkpoint to get close to an evacuee screening point at the Kabul airport. For days, a sewage canal at the airport had become a holding pen for Afghans who, knee-deep in effluent, waved passports and signs pleading, for Western help in boarding evacuation flights out of Kabul. But the canal bank leading to Hamid Karzai, International Airport became a scene of carnage, when the suicide bomber detonated explosives, killing at least 90 people. Amid the horror, wheelbarrows were used to cart off the wounded, some missing limbs, others unconscious. Many survivors dropped vital documentation, their only lifeline to escape a country descending into civil war, in the stampede to flee that followed. Last night, Islamic State claimed responsibility, alleging one suicide bomber got within 5 meters of US troops before detonating a device. The two locations targeted in the bombings were the Abbey Gate of Hamid Karzai International Airport, where US troops were screening Afghans for evacuation, and the nearby Baron Hotel, where many people, including Afghans, Americans and Britons were told to gather in recent days, before heading to the airport for evacuation. The Pentagon first publicly confirmed the blast shortly, after 6 p.m. Kabul time on Thursday, and later confirmed a staggering U.S. military death toll, that is the highest in one day in Afghanistan since 2011. General Frank McKenzie, commander of U.S. Central Command, said that the attack on the Abbey Gate unfolded, after at least one suicide bomber was able to get through initial Taliban screening points. General McKenzie said troops may have been searching, the bomber when his device went off. Most chillingly, however, this was a tragedy foretold. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.